All right, let's try out his face and hair coupons. Oh yes, I didn't like the long hair anyway. Oh, perfect. Wet spots in my pants. Hey everyone, and welcome to part two of Shade. We're starting right off where I left you guys, and that was with. A teen Pierce and she was saying I need to see my old friends the old five heroes and before I did that I trained to level 35 at Fentian. That was quite decent went quite well, but anyway, at level 35 She's saying well, this is the time you should met Freud and because Freud was only human He died because his dragon took the curse of the black mage So instead we're gonna see the dragon But when we got to the dragon Evan is stopping us and he's saying that the dragon is very weak but We should probably go see the others first and since you can't cope with the loss of Freud, you decide to write him a letter and throw it at the sea in case maybe he'll read it one day. And you can decide your own message. That's awesome. So I decided to write a very touching letter to Freud saying, Have you seen these couple sand guys? They are awesome. Plus, I saw a fox today. Which is true because I awoke at the foxy village. No lies, Freud, no lies. Since we're at Gold Beach anyway, we're gonna stay here and train. But first, to complete the quest, we have to throw in the bottle at the ocean. And that's and that happens to be at the end of the quest line of the Goldsbridge Beach. So just do the quest line, level up a few times, you know, get high in Maple Story. <laughs> and defeat the octopus to finish the quest. And we're all happy. So after you've done that, Athena Pierce sends you to see Mercedes. And while we're entering the village, something strange is happening. This weird old grain effect is put over everything and and as we're talking to everyone it turns out that Mercedes isn't really Mercedes but it's a curse from one of the black mages henchmen. Too bad that we aren't gonna fight her or anything she just disappears and but I remember Mercedes saying something about the healing waters that flow from the top of the elven village and you collect some and you sprinkle it or throw it I don't know on top of all the villagers who then one by one wake up and some are having a good dream and some are having a bad dream Sucks to be in an eternal sleep with a bad dream, right? Wouldn't want that to happen to me. When we've done that, you've collected some great amount of XP because the quest gives a really nice amount of XP. It's great if you do it. But next stop is Aram. But before you can go there, you have to move your way through the degrees in this tiny ship. And if you hit something, it does a lot of damage. Luckily, I have all my character cards and skills, so I'm not too worried about it. But if you don't have that many HP, you should better be careful. So. When you reach shore, you meet these penguin guys who are quite goofy and they just want to attack you or something. And at first they start to throw snowballs at you, who also do <laughs> quite a lot of damage. So make sure to dodge at least most of them. Sometimes it was impossible to dodge, but yeah. After that, they still don't believe you and you have to pick the right iglo before you can see Aram. But these penguins aren't playing quite fairly, so you just can't, you can't catch them. I tried. I want to blow up the iglos. Didn't help. But anyway, after a while, Aaron appears and she's saying that oh I have memory loss I don't know what to do who I am so that sounds really helpful so Athena Pierce sends you then to go and see Phantom but since Phantom is a thief and quite uncatchable you don't know where he is so you decide to check out all these hidden chambers of him and when you find out he isn't the first one you just go through all his secret chambers with all his treasures to go and see if Phantom still remembers you one of them the lock tries to attack you I was like what am I supposed to do here but then the lock did damage so then I knew what was happening when you're at the final treasure chamber Phantom comes in and tries to attack you well luckily this pretty boy doesn't do a lot of damage so you get him down quite easily at least if he stands still for a second so after that you decide to talk and it turns out that Phantom really doesn't remember you. So you decide it's best to leave and come back when you have proof of your existence. So I'm level 50 at this moment and I thought well why not train at Drake's for a while. The Drake's map were quite crowded so that was okay. But it would have been nice if someone from my guild was here. If I had any. Oh! Turns out Angelic Buster is here as well. But you know to do a lot of fun stuff together because after all a guild is everything. So if you're in Cradia in Maple Store Europe Make sure to add Shady Copper. First come, first serves. And speaking of guilds, did you know that MapleStory 2.tv also made a guild faction at their website? So you can actually already make your guild for MapleStory 2. So when you start, you start together with a lot of people, have lots of fun, and do lots of party quests together. It's a really great way to get to know people who also are interested in the game. So that's that up for me. I'll put the link in the video description in case you're wondering where do I find it? It's right there in the video description. When you've reached level 55, you go and see Luminous, who isn't quite a runner, but it doesn't really matter. And he also seems very distant towards you and saying, claiming he doesn't really know you. Right then, you notice that the Cursed Black Mage isn't that you were asleep for thousands and thousands of years, but you got erased from everyone's memory. You got forgotten. 
So that's kind of sad. But on a happier note, it gave a lot of XP. So in case you're wondering how the story will end, I will continue from here next time. Thank you guys for watching. And tell me what level is your shade? Or Unwul? I keep saying shade as in she, you know the other word. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. See you guys later. Bye bye.